Myanmar junta resistance appeals to American corporate nationalists to save them. This is the topic report. The topic is resistance to Myanmar junta expands. But this first story that I picked for this, Myanmar, Myanmar activist or should I say Burmese activist? Uh, I'm going to stick with Myanmar for now. Myanmar activists beg American, oh, by the way, free Burma, Burma, Myanmar are the same thing. Myanmar activists beg American brands to help them end the military coup. This is from, ironically enough, this is from Mother Jones. This is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Mother Jones is, you know, they're left-leaning. And now, I, I, I don't like Mother Jones, but as as left sites go, they're, they're less... They're less bombastic. They're less Marat-like. Marat, the, the French journalist uh, from the, uh, quote-unquote, well, French newspaper man from the French Revolution who lobbed Molotov cocktails at everybody through his paper, lies and fake news. They're less that than some others, but still. So, dear Beyonce, Myanmar activists beg American brands to help them end the military coup. Let our journalists talk. Okay, one evening... March in March, Nan, a 20 year old medical student in eastern Miami, sat, sat in bed with her phone and composed a Twitter message to Beyonce. Dearest Beyonce, may I more people love you and your music, but this wasn't your usual fan mail. Nan wanted a musician and global icon to know that Myanmar soldiers had seized control of the country in a coup and were now gunning down protesters in the streets. Victims include women who worked at the garment factories, like the one that supplies Adidas, which recently partnered with Beyonce to sell a clothing and sneaker line. So here we go, corporate nationalist. Your, your moral supremacism that you're using to form a de facto political party to oppose the GOP, because that's essentially what you've done, and, and the, the, the opposition to the GOP's uh, voter rights or voter reform, whatever you call it, laws that the states are passing. You formed a political party, an unaccountable political party in which only billionaires get in. Uh, what do you do? You are, you're, you're, you're now the moral supremacist. You're the pope's. You're the popes and the priests of the land. So popes and priests, are you going to step up and are you going to honor? Are you going to honor the Myanmar people and use your considerable corporate power to 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 oppose the junta, to to let the junta know that nobody will do business with the junta if they do this? Well, we'll see. I'm my my suspicion is it's going to be crickets because ultimately the corporate nationalists are interested in, in in methods of controlling we the poors and the Myanmar junta is working on on just that controlling people against their will in this case these people are outright ready to die on the streets they're so opposed to this junta Myanmar's la lost generation young people sacrifice futures for freedom if they win I won't marry or have children because I wouldn't want my family to live under their control there's a lot of stuff that's <laughs> we're not at the Myanmar stage in America, but there's a there's a lot of people that are opposed to this uh, corporate nationalist uh, power con power grab that's going on on the United States of America right now, and and some people have already got to this point where they said I don't know, I don't know if I want to have children and grow up in this land, and uh, yeah, as more and more people get to the point where they have no reason to live in this land. Yeah, you're going to see more violence, even way more than you've already seen. My own, and I don't advocate for violence. I'm, I, well, anyway, Myanmar security forces fire on protesting medical workers. Some hurt. Yeah, they're firing this from today online. This last one from it says Reddit, but it's not from Reddit here. Just a Reddit link. The Guardian, the Guardian UK is where that last one was from. Myanmar security forces force. Yeah, well, I said that medical workers. That's from today online. 18 MPs among 3,800 Myanmar nationalists take shelter in Mizoram, China. Gives uh, as uh, in Mizoram as China gives a dozen drones to Myanmar army in Myanmar as protest as protesters suppress them. Uh, so I'm waiting for the, uh, the 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 drone wars. I've been watching for that. It hasn't quite happened yet, but uh, it, it could. It could anytime soon now. Australian government, tell, and if you do see drone wars, then you know this is going to be a prolonged affair because all the corporate nationalists and all the state nationalists are going to want to test the toys again on the lives of other human beings that are not directly under their control so they don't have to deal with the political blowback. Australian government tells Myanmar nationals they won't be forced to return. Well, that's a wonderful to hear. That's from The Guardian. And then we have from Washington Post. As Myanmar unravels after military coup, people flee cities for rural backwaters. And this is happening in America, even as we speak. There are people that are moving 
Well, the people that are moving out of the cities are moving into the suburbs. People who live in the cities, suburbs, are moving to the rural areas. I myself am looking for an opportunity. Well, I was. I'm not anymore because of my... I, 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 I feel like I have a calling to serve Bethlehem, PA, which is where I live. So I don't think I'm going to leave the city, even though more and more cities are dangerous because it's much easier to control human beings in cities than it is in rural regions. And that's why they're, they're heading to the hills, literally. So it's interesting to watch that pattern start to unfold. Myanmar junta taps Russian air power to bomb ethnic rebels. This is from Nikkei.com. The skies above Myanmar's hinterlands have thundered from Russian-made jets over the past three weeks as they bombed strongholds of ethnic rebels along the country's borders with China and Thailand. So uh, I don't know if Russia is given condolence to this, but I imagine that Russia will. I know both Russia and China are both pushing back against the quote-unquote international community to try to prevent them from doing anything to the junta. So I think I think they want the junta to, 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 to maintain control. I think both China and Russia would prefer a less free Myanmar because in general they're less free models of governance. And, and the old story is if you have a model of governance in which the prevailing powers uh, well, that's not based on what the prevailing powers models of governance are. That puts a target on your back. It's like the Dutch Republic back in the, what was it, 1600s, whenever it was. I, I don't remember, 1600s, 1500s, where the Dutch Republic uh, declares itself and then all of the king-queen empires turn on them and try to annihilate them just because they have a form of governance which undermines their authority. It delegitimizes them just by being. And then finally we have... Myanmar ethnic groups unite and fight against army, sites set on federal rights. You see that uh, at some point. This is why in America they're working so hard, the corporate nationalists, to divide us according to race. Because the real division is between the poors, the vassals of the citadelians, and the citadelians themselves. Those are the, the people in p fundamental positions of power in the corporate nationalist st structure, such as that is. And they would rather us focus on our ethnicity and race and turn each other against one another and give each other fear and hate so that uh, the people that they feel like they're getting relief from will sign up to standards and practices that will fundamentally undermine all our freedoms, include their own. And in Myanmar, well, the ethnic people are coming together. Their divisions are not nearly as important as their realization that all of their freedoms are threatened by the junta. And hopefully, that's what we'll see happen in America, although without the violence and, and hopefully a more peaceful way than what's going on in Myanmar. God willing.